Did you know that Tom Cruise was Katie Holmes' crush since she was a teenager? And then she made her dream come true. But soon after, she realized that the dream she wanted to achieve was rather a nightmare. Her love ended with a public, controversial divorce, and she had to raise her daughter Suri on her own. But she is way more than Tom's ex and Suri's mom. Stay seated, because in this video, we are going to get to know Katie Holmes way more. But before anything, like, share, and subscribe. Now let's get to know Katie more. Katie Noel Holmes was born in Toledo, Ohio on December 18, 1978. She was born in a deeply Catholic family, so she attended an all-girls Catholic high school. One of the sisters, Sally Marie Bonnet, a religion teacher, remembers that young Katie was a truly dedicated and outstanding student. From a young age, Katie was interested in fashion and beauty. Because of that, at the age of 14, she started taking modeling classes at a school run by Margaret O'Brien. She took Katie to New York, and there, a talent scout discovered that not only did Katie have the talent to walk the runways, but she also had huge potential to become a successful actress. And as we know, that person wasn't wrong. I think we can agree that fate works in a mysterious way. This is what happened to Katie, because after she declined the offer to go for an audition for the series Dawson's Creek, the producers still found her, and that's how she got the role of Joey Potter. The huge success of the series is known to all. However, according to Katie herself, leaving her comfort zone and moving alone to Wilmington, North Carolina during the filming of the series from 1998 to 2003 was not easy at all. But things always happen for a reason, and in this case, besides bringing her international fame, Dawson's Creek also gave her her first great love, her co-star Joshua Jackson. But the same year the series ended, Katie started going out with Tom Cruise. The story began like a true fairy tale. Tom even recited a poem written by him when he proposed. And it all happened in the city of love, Paris, on the Eiffel Tower to be more exact. Just two years later, in 2005, the couple announced that they were waiting for their first child, Suri, who was born on April 18, 2006, the same year they got married. At that time, the actress declared that becoming a mother was the best thing that had ever happened to her. However, neither the fact that she married her teenage crush nor becoming a mother stopped Katie from filing the divorce papers in 2012 apparently because she wasn't going to follow the many absurd rules of Cruz's religion. Since the divorce, Katie has been raising Suri basically alone. And according to a lot of sources, the same sect that has alienated her has stopped Tom from being close to Suri because allegedly they believe Katie is an oppressive person. Despite all of that, Katie has stayed away from all the gossip and rumors and has only dedicated herself to educating her daughter. Although she was dating the actor Jamie Foxx, her biggest priority was still the well-being of Surrey. I used was there because in August it was confirmed that Katie and Foxx had ended their relationship after six years. Apparently, Jamie was spotted in the company of a mysterious girl in a Hollywood nightclub. The girl was the model and singer, Sayla Vave, and Jamie allegedly was only serving as her mentor. Okay, there's nothing wrong about that, but what if I told you that they were holding hands? Despite her chaotic life with the breakup and her divorce, Katie hasn't stopped to take a break, even for a second. Recently, she posed for Vogue Australia, showing the stretch marks left after her pregnancy with Surrey 13 years ago. And look, I don't know about you, but I applaud her, because that only shows that, despite fame and money, she is still a human being, a woman, and an excellent mother. Speaking of which, remember that I told you Katie is much more than Tom Cruise's ex or Suri's mom. Well, besides being extremely talented, she also has a charitable soul. We cannot forget that, since her divorce with Tom, Katie has had to raise her daughter as a single mother. So I gotta say, she has also done a great job by giving her the best example. Thanks to that, little Suri is now a full-on philanthropist. Although Katie has shown that she is an excellent and exemplary mother, the truth is that she has not been alone on this journey. Her mother, Kathleen Holmes, helped her throughout this path with her advice. Katie admits that it hasn't always been easy to play the demanding and challenging role of a single mother, especially now that her daughter is in her teenage years and, like the rest of the teenagers in the world, she has discovered the world of the internet and social media. To deal with that, Katie has imposed precise and clear limits on the time Surrey can use social media. 
and she has also made sure that her daughter has enough responsibilities and things to do to keep her as far away from social media as possible. I see why Katie is doing this. It's really difficult to control kids these days. Hope this method works for her. What do you guys think? Does it seem like Katie is a great mom? Let's talk about that in the comments, and remember to like, share, and become a part of our Curiosips family by subscribing to our channel. Until next time.